Right, got him all lit up. Obviously, I've put bedroom light off. I've put the um, cabinet light off. You know the stand, same as the uh, Mark IV stand. Really nice, lights up really well. Obviously, I've got the uh, light from the camera as well on. Moving up, really, really bright arc reactor. Again, the switch is in the same place under the uh, flap on the on his back right shoulder. The articulated hand lights up on both hands. And then his eyes light up as long as you've got the light up neck with the switch on the back of that. So, yeah, like I said, smart looking thing. It's all lit up. I just thought I'd show you. Like I said, you've probably seen it, but uh, I'd be daft not to show you again. Back in the light. But, as you can see, she's going pose now, so I'm just going to sum up uh, the suit. I'm going to give the suit or the outfit a 5 out of 5, but there is a couple of little nit nitpicks. Uh, not things that would make me want to take it down a mark, but um, just things I think they could have done better. Firstly, them little fucking flaps at the back of his ankles, like that one, they fall off like they do on most at Iron Man. They do click back on, it's really easy. They're not glued in place or anything, so they do go back on, but it's just a bastard when you get it in a pose and you've got to start fucking putting that thing back on his ankle. Like I say, it just fits on the back of his foot there, but that's always been a pisser with the Iron Man that I know of. Um, the thing I do like about it is the fucking flares don't keep popping out all the time like they do on the Mark IV. They're solid now, they're not working flares, thank fuck for that, because they were an annoying sort of old one. I do like the rubberized section here because it doesn't look too different a colour and it does make top of the legs um, quite easy to move. The thing I don't like about it, and the main point I don't like about the suit is there's no articulation at all through the middle section, through any of that section. They don't collapse, it don't lift or anything, so the Mark IV would hammer it on that section. But like I said, they're only minor fucking details, but like I said, the look of the suit, the choice you can get, the armour that you can switch on and off, I'm still going to give it a 5 out of 5. Right, on to articulation. I've pretty much covered this through so, um, as I've been going. It's probably not as articulated as the Mark IV Iron Man, which is still my favourite Iron Man, if I'm honest. Obviously, I've not had the Mark VI, but just on pictures and the head sculpt you got, I, I would... I wouldn't swap a four for a six. Now that's just my personal preference. And as for the five, not my cup of tea at all. Um, so yeah, like I say, it's not as articulated. It is cool looking because of the metallic and the chrome or whatever you want to call it, but it does fall down a little bit on the sleekness and the articulation and everything. Um, obviously because the piece is removed, you sometimes find they pop off in your hand when you don't want them to. Again, if you can get past that, uh, it's not too much of a problem. The articulation in the flaps is nice and smooth. On the uh, shield that comes out and the rocket, that's good. Like I said, the good rubberized section in the middle or whatever it is, plastic. Same as that Iron Man, but like I say, you don't get the annoyance with the flares. Uh, so the articulation's good, but like I said, I can't understand why they haven't articulated the middle section. It would have been a no-brainer, because the way I understand it, most of the Iron Men now are articulated, so I really don't understand... Um, again, the head won't look all the way back, so you couldn't put in a flat flying pose like you might want to do. But then again, you couldn't with that Iron Man. Uh, the articulated hands are a fucking work of genius, and we might one day see articulated human hands on figures. Um, obviously, they would have to be really well sculpted. Um, again, that flap falls off, but again, it pops straight back on. So... I'm just going to give the articulation a three. Obviously, when a figure looks that good and there's that much engineering and whatever you've gone gone into it and the swappable parts, it's not going to be amazing. We all know that. We're not fucking idiots. Um, but yeah, it's. I think it should have been at least as articulated as the Mark IV, and it's not. So that's why I've given it a three out of five. Right on to value. Uh, you know I like all you guys to uh, know my business, what I pay. Why I pay it, who I pay it to. Uh, if there's a way that I can help you get the same deal, then I will do. Obviously, it won't always work because it's dependent on how many of the guys have in stock and things like that and where I've got it from and that sort of thing. The only thing we're letting people know are your business. People sometimes come back at you, they get too much information on you and they jump to assumptions about why you buy early and this and that. I'll tell you for record, 
I always buy early because I'm basically like a fucking, I'm like a kid at Christmas. I can't wait. Once I know somebody's at, something's at, if it's a figure I like or have a passing interest and I know it's at, if I've got the money, I want it. And that's all there is to it. It's not, even if I didn't video it or get any early views or whatever, it's just I'm like a fucking kid. I'm impatient. I can't wait. I see it. I see it on Facebook. I think, oh, I need it. I need it. I need it. And most of the time, it's not that I need it. It's just that I want it. And that's the honest truth for it. Now, I saw this come out about a week ago. Like I said, I've seen a few reviews. Ainsworth Productions done one. Then, like I said, they were really, really in-depth one, which I really enjoyed. I can't remember who did it, like I said earlier. Um, and once I knew it was right, I thought, well, I've got money there. I could buy that. If I don't like it, I can sell it and blah, blah, blah. Now, I paid $250 for it. And this might surprise you. I didn't buy it from Tony at Kid Hulk Toy Shop. Now, the reason I didn't is... People might say that Rick sucks Tony's ass because he gets deals and he gets discount and blah, blah, blah. The fact of the matter is I don't. What I do is I always ask around four guys in uh, Hong Kong. It's no normally the same four guys, um, but what I do is I will only shout the one out who actually sells it to me. So that's the way I work. Now, on this figure, I asked Tony first like expected, I bought the last few figures off him, uh, then asked some other guys, and then I asked the guy who I eventually bought it from, and it's a guy called De Grey Man. That's D, then the colour grey, uh, dash, man, De Grey Man. That's his, uh, that's his uh, eBay name. His name's actually Chris, I have used him before, I think I bought my Terminator 1 from him, and one of my Predators, I can't remember which one. He's a really good seller, again, he sent me the shipping box, the shipping bag, he sent it fast for me, and he charged me 250. Now you're probably thinking, well why didn't you use Tony? You always use Tony. I don't always use Tony. Fact of the matter is, I've used Tony about fucking six, seven times and I've always been happy with him and respect to him. On this occasion, I asked him a question, he never answered me, and like I said, the impatience got better of me. Now that were about two weeks ago I started asking these questions on this figure and Tony still hasn't got back to me now. So, like I said, I don't owe anybody anything, I don't fucking, I don't exclusively buy from anybody. I buy the best deal for me at that time. And like I said, on this occasion, it would degrade man. Is that to say I'll never use Tony again? No, I'm, I might use Tony again. If again, he does best deal for me, then I'll buy from him. Simple as that. It's not who can get it me fastest, who can, whose ass can I kiss, can I fucking, am I stood in with somebody or, or whatever. Like I said, what I tell you boys is the truth and you should know that by now. So yeah, I bought this one from degrade man. $250 shipped, which works out to about £160 uh, in UK. Do I think that's good value? Well, I personally think these Iron Man are too, Iron Men are too expensive, but it's a pretty standard price now for Hot Toys. What are you going to do? It's a little bit cheaper than a DX, obviously so, because the DXs are always better, or in my opinion they are. You get much more uh, bang for your buck, if you want to say. Um, do I think it'll go through roof? I don't know if it'll go through roof, but it'll hold its price. Iron Man always seem to. Batman stuff always seems to. And Predators always seem to. Would I keep this in my collection forever? If I'm honest, probably no. Because already as it stands, it would be in the top three I'm most likely to sell. Um, like I said, I really bought it to look at it, review it and sell it, if I'm honest. But like I said, I do like the figure. It is a fucking awesome piece and if you're an iron man fan then i highly recommend it you'll fucking love it being able to uh, switch the parts out and everything the mechanics of it you'll absolutely fucking adore this figure but like i've said before i'm not a massive iron man collector i ain't got all the mark one two three four five six and onwards i've just got the mark four which i fucking do love and i've got this one now i got rid of the war machine because i really didn't like that when i got it this one yeah it's fucking top top figure would it be a keeper for me? In all honesty, I would say no. So, on value, I'm going to give it um, a middle at row three. Like I said, it weren't a figure I was raving and raving about to get, but I'm glad I've got it, seen it in my hand. I've reviewed it up as honestly as I can, told you the defects, told you what's good about it. Uh, I hope you appreciate that from me. So, to sum that up, I've given this figure... Quite a low, surprisingly, 27 out of a possible 35. That's not to say this figure's bad, but on the categories as it scores, that's where it ends up. So I hope you appreciate my honesty. Again, please leave your comments. Contact me on Skype. Search my name on Skype. It's the Clipper King. I will talk to you if I'm available. Obviously, if I'm having family time or I'm busy, then I won't answer. 
I'm not being ignorant. And like I say, I do speak to a lot of guys on there and I fucking love being in contact with people all around the world. Uh, that's what I got into this hobby for and that's what I still love about it. Um, like I say, that's about it on this review. I've got the Scarface, uh, the Enterbase Scarface War version and Respect version, the twin pack I bought. I've got those downstairs, so I might review them tonight or I might leave them and do them tomorrow night, but I'll get you this review up as soon as possible. And uh, I just say, uh, this is Clipper King Brothers and I'm out of here.